This is pretty crazy. A food influencer feasting with six-figure payouts for a single post. That's crazy. I like, imagine you were able to like like post like one monster energy can on like on like a TikTok or something and make like a hundred K. You like that's so crazy. So let's check this out. They are bringing home the bacon. One food influencer said he can make six figures for just one video and another is scoring partnerships with brands like Chase Bank and Coca Cola. LA resident Gianluca Conte, who has 12.5 million followers on TikTok, made his first video in 2019 cooking pasta and is now working in the dough. It can get up to the point where one post can be almost at six figures, he told the post. But it depends on the company. You're able to charge more depending on how much they want to do with it. Conte23, who has made content for snacks like Cheetos and Skittles in chains like Wendy's and Boston Market, earns more for one-time videos. Companies will bank out a bigger budget just because they're pushing a singular campaign rather than a specific product, said Conte, one of the content creators participating in FoodieCon, part of the New York City Wine and Food Festival, on October 14th at the Hard Rock Hotel in the Theater District. The North Carolina native was in community college and working at his dad's restaurant when he posted his first video, If the Jersey Shore Had a Cooking Show. And funny enough, I think I've seen this guy randomly on social media too. Like just w- one single video. That's just crazy. It was just me with my tank top on, little chain, he explained. The video was literally some garlic tomatoes, I barely knew what I was doing. He then created the series, The Angry New Jersey Cooking Show, and it was his chicken fettuccine Alfredo video that really put him on the map with over 5 million TikTok views. Through his work, he landed modeling contracts and has women hitting on him with the frequent pickup line, asking me to cook for them. Interesting. Park Slope, Brooklyn native Jeremy Jacob... Jacobotes? Like, how do you pronounce that last name? Jacob Owitz said that with partnerships with brands such as Chase, Coca-Cola, and DoorDash, he also can make six figures, not for a video, but for long-term collaborations when you're signing a year-long partnership and doing a million posts for them. The NYU grad got his start by working as Bobby Flay's personal assistant and posting Instagram photos of food. Jacob Owitz, I'm just going to say Jacob, now films videos with themes like which Jewish deli is best, happiest brunch in New York City, and most underrated pizza in New York City, and was recently paid by Chase to travel to Japan and Korea, where he posted about cuisine while mentioning their credit card. He was also invited to work on President Biden's campaign team and helped once he was elected both unpaid gigs. They were looking for influencers and knew I was pretty vocal, he said, There really was never any specific ask. It was always, if there is a fun and interesting way for you to ever be involved in something, let's figure it out. Interesting. So people have to be influenced to sit down their phone and eat. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Like, It kind of makes sense why some of these people would be making crazy amounts of money from, like, TikTok. Because if you think about it, if you get, like, 5 million views on a video or 10 million views on a video, even if it's a one-minute video, that would probably still be good for brand recognition. But also, like, the marketing budgets of some of these big corporations are disgustingly huge. So they have a lot of money to just burn. And again, for brand recognition, going this route might actually make a lot of sense. But let's say that you had a company where you were selling like a product. Let's say, not Monster, but like, let's say that you had like your own energy drink company, something like that, where people could literally just buy it. If you had one really good influencer who was getting crazy amounts of traffic 
and you pay them basically like a year-long brand deal, right? Let's say that you had like a influencer that got on like on average like a million views per video and you show that they were basically drinking like, you know, their own, like your energy drink company or something like that, like your specific energy drink on like every single video they had it in there, the amount of purchases would greatly outweigh whatever it is that you are paying them to be sponsored by you. I think a good example of this is... um. A company called Gorilla Mind, with uh, Derek from More Plates, More Dates, his company, where like he doesn't really post on social media that much in terms of like what he was before, but like he gets like 10, I think, I think 10 or 20 million hits to his uh, website and generates probably about like I think 5 million gross per month from his website. Like, it's a pretty massive company, like supplement company. But it's all because of these influencer marketing, because he's really good at choosing who to uh, sponsor. And a lot of those uh, sponsored individuals make crazy money, like crazy money from being sponsored with uh, Derek at his company. So it's actually not that surprising that some of these people could be, like, making a lot of money. Hold on. I wonder. Okay, this might be his TikTok right here. Yeah, twelve point five million followers, three hundred and thirty-six point four million likes. Yeah, this is pretty crazy, right? So he gets. Let's just say like an average of like a million per video, average. And he's making like crazy amounts of money from doing that. That is pretty insane. Hmm. What's this? What is this? Oh, I guess his his website, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube. Okay, I guess he's got his own brand too. Nice. So yeah, he's definitely got like different revenue streams. Not bad. Props to him. Um, he made like a, what it seems like to be a very lucrative company. So, congrats.